Oh yeah, nice, clean, fresh oil change. Hi, I'm Tony Fast's daughter. I'm Tony Fast's daughter. I'm Tony Fast's daughter. Our family has been blessed to farm in Montana for over 100 years now. And it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior, Jesus Christ. Well, good morning. We are on hold on this for probably a week. They're going to get parts in, rebuild that uh, clutch. Sounds like someone had been into it before we bought it. it. Wasn't us. It came from down south from Holyoke. They are now part of the Border Plains, Plains Egg Equipment uh, dealerships. So I came from one of those dealerships down there. But they messed inside that clutch at some point and not really sure what all happened there. But they're going to rebuild it in town. We'll slide it all back together when, when they get done with that. But today we're going to go pick up our fertilizer spreader we bought last fall well here it is not in great shape but it was really cheap so we gotta do a little tinkering on it maybe it'll work we'll see i know it uh does need a software update because it would not run some stuff but we'll see maybe i wasted a bunch of money or maybe we built something else out of it if it doesn't work but jumper cable is on it right now the trucker came to pick it up and the fuse box relay box here's a new one we're putting on i'm gonna see if we can start it up i guess i gotta work on pulling that one off at least because supposedly that's bad it's gotta be bad it's got rust coming out of it so i'll get some pb blaster on those and see if we can't get that thing off see if it'll start one of those you gotta hold your tongue just right Still showing eight, nine volts. Oh, really? Hey, this matches all the equipment at home with all the bird turds all over it. It's true. Yeah, that sounds better. Well, every time you turn the key, oh. now I'm done. It says F1 over there. Is that forward one? But that's your gears. Put it right oh. There's neutral. Cool, for work, supposedly. There's, there's not neutral. Ooh, it fired. Oh, oh, this is a cat motor. C9A Sir. We, do we now have a motor that we want to put in uh, the 554? If the rest of this dies out, we got a winner. <laughs> well, luckily, just across the county road, it's my cousin's place. Didn't realize it was right here when I bought the spreader. So we're going to park it here, let the truck haul it home. Because it has a lot of little oil leaks and different things and just not going to be much fun driving home like that. Worried about oil running out of it. So, yeah, here we go. Morning. Oh, I got to go drive this thing today. If I don't die on the ice first, I can get this out of the ice. Let's check oil, start it up, and then we'll get it off the ice to check tires. Oh, yeah. Nice, clean, fresh oil change. Forget about that. Oil cooler, fresh water, fresh oil, and looks like we're good on water level. All right. Gotta kick over the coffee. I can't get rolling because we're frozen to the ice, but I dumped this air suspension and then went and pulled the yellow button or red button. And so it set my brakes and then I aired it back up and look at this. Started rolling out of the ice. So those ones moved. I think now maybe we can get moving. We'll see. That uh, suspension, with the brake set will roll like every you lose air your trailer will roll forward if your brakes are set I'm kind of using that whole theory on well, maybe i can twist those brakes set and twist that with moving the air up I don't, we'll see it, it might work took a little rocking get the whole tires to come out of the divots but 
We're rolling. Point Columbia Grain Elevator just to check our weights on these loads to figure out how we calibrate uh, or how they compare. A split weigh in a truck or you know dump in one trailer, weigh in that trailer, then dump in the back trailer, you know, weigh in all that. We're just trying to make sure it works the same on this scale versus the scale out at the elevator where we're dumping the peas and canola. So yeah, do that and then I'm gonna see if we can go check out this new elevator. Uh, Expansion, addition, the big share they're building on that. Let's go see if they'll let us look at that. It's all done. One point five million bushel storage. We're here at Columbia Grain and uh what you say? Another couple months we'll be ready to take grain. Open May. Open May, so be nice to have two pits, two different crops coming up. Yep. Be pretty pretty cool to see yep. what this is gonna add for yes. getting that to dump a little quicker. A lot quicker, I'm hoping. Yeah. So well, basically a football field with a roof over it. It'll fill fill through the top there. It can suck out the bottom back into the trains. So what's the 50,000 bushel an hour loadout? 30,000? 30,000 30, 30, hours. So, so then we'll bring in, 50, or we'll do 50% out of the bins and then 50% out of the bunker. Oh, okay. So. Crazy. Pretty big building. You know how tall it is in here? 80 feet. 80 feet. That's to crazy. the peak. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a walk-in door up there. Like, there's a walk-in door for reference. 18 foot sidewall and then 18 for the concrete. So, pretty neat to see. 
So he also said that these nets on the side will actually be able to put green up onto that always. So, man, it's crazy to think how big this is. I am at the computer here in the office, working on some crop planting stuff, figuring out some of that finalizing few things, uploading to video files, which I'm uploading them to a server at Red E. They're gonna start doing our editing. This video very well could be video edited by Red E. Let them know how we're doing. Leave a comment if you think they're, if you even noticed there was a change between his editing and my editing. All right, so we're using Trimble Egg. We've been using this from way back when it was still Agri Data Solutions years ago. So, well, still getting used to the new computer here. Um, red is spring wheat, blue is winter wheat, uh, yellow is mustard, baby blue is chickpeas, barley, alfalfa. Oh, we got to figure out where to put a little corn yet. Thinking maybe some of the spring wheat acres over north of Nashua, or maybe at home here again, I don't know. Yeah, just kind of finalizing a few things here. Figure out how much fertilizer for sure we're gonna need. So we are gonna remove these hoses just because we want to. Um, you know, that is not a hole for a blockage monitor. That's the rest of that one anyway so the hoses are coming off but you can't just randomly pull them off got to number them so we numbered the towers on the air seeder and then i took a picture of them numbered and i'm making them coincide to here so we know which one's which we know which line would be plugged on the blockage monitor all that fun stuff well this one's put up a good fight but I'm sick of fighting it. Amazing what a little bit of heat does. Okay, so I just threw those clamps for both ends onto these because we do not have seed tube yet. Lines. So when we go to put the uh, new seed hoses back on, then we will know, or it'll be easier to put the, um, the where it connects to the distro. It'll be easier to put those on and then push the hose on to that where it's got something solid to work with there. So, I mean, come on, isn't that just pretty? Anyway. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget, like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet. And uh, check out Farm Focus down in the description as well for all the cool merchandise, Fast Egg included, and all the other brands like Larson Farms and Mini Minnesota. Millennial Farmer, Welkers, Brian's Farming Videos, a whole bunch of us all on the same site. So buy a little bit of whatever you want from all of us and get shipped to the same place. Same per Marble Salesman. Just go check out farmfocus.com. Don't forget, farm hard, pray harder. We'll see you next video. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. But don't forget, farm hard, pray harder. See you next video.